Good morning. Welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. And joining us right here is Ron and Kelly Monroe from Midas of North Conway. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. We haven't seen you guys in a little while. Nice to have you back. Thank nice you to very be much. Back. And uh, so, of course, we're going to talk about a bunch of things. You know, we, we, we have hours of stuff to talk about. We don't have hours, but we're going to talk about, about many things. But let's talk about and introduce uh, Midas of North Conway. So we have been here about five years. Um, we've built a great clientele. We're very blessed. Um, we do everything. We do brakes, oil changes, alignments, um, tires. We do everything basically, tune-ups. Um, we're here basically Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, and Saturday, 7.30 to noon. And one of the things that I think is, is so important, and we talked about this over the years when we've gotten together, is Midas is a national chain yes. um, mm. and known throughout the country. Um, and sometimes you run into the, that people don't want to come see you because they think you're not a locally owned company. You are a yes, locally we are. owned yeah. company. We are. We're very locally owned. We live in the valley. Um, we have a lot of friends in the valley. Um, it, it's just There's a lot of love to share around there. So we, we love having customers come to us. We even get customers from out of state that will actually tell us that they've waited to come to us to have their brakes done or their oil changed. They come up for the weekend. So it's been a very good thing. We're very blessed. So, as, you know, but as a locally owned company, but then you also have the backing of a national company, we do. which is we definitely do. A, yes. a benefit. I remember my son was in California and was able to go to the Midas and they looked up his record from your yeah. place. Yeah, it's, it's nice because with being local, you have local ownership, you have local ties. But with national, you have national ties. So if you have something done at our place, anywhere in the country, you can get it done. If it's under warranty, they cover it. So it's nice. It's a nice security blanket. And Midas is known for their for their warranties. Yeah, we have a lot of warranties. Brakes, shocks. I mean, there's, there's, there's a bunch of stuff that we warranty for life. And Struts, you just mufflers. don't. Yep. Yeah. And, and that's, a, that's a nice peace of mind with, with all of a sudden, you know, be it your car or whatever it might yeah, be, yeah. and you, it's one of those things that you, you run into that problem, knowing you've got the warranty that you can handle locally or it's, nationally is, yep. is a great thing. It's like a big brotherhood, too. We, we get calls from all over the country saying, hey, we have your customer here. There's a situation with the brakes. We're going to take care of it. We just want to let you know. Um, and we, They'll even fax us the copy of the repair order just to say, hey, just so you can have it in your records or something, which is awesome. Which is, you know? yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I stop there a lot, and there's always stuff going on. You guys are always busy. Mm. Um, and this is the time of year we got to start thinking about uh, winterizing our we cars. Do. We do. It's coming up quick. It's time to get prepared. And so, I'll, actually, I'm going to skip backwards a little first and talk about um, this being Breast Cancer Awareness Month and what you guys do every July. So every July, we do our Break for Breast campaign. 10% of every break job go to Jen's Friends. So every year, it's been growing, which has been great. So we've been able to give back to the community, back to Jen's Friends to help these families. Um, some of the families even come to us for repair because it's so important that they get to their appointments for you know radiation, chemo, their surgeries, right. things like that. So for us to be able to give back to a cause like that is huge. So, you know, we love the fact that it's growing. It's so important. Um, awareness is so important. And um, it's, it's a great cause to help a lot of families in the Valley that need it. We That's love true. working with Jen's Friends. It's a great, great organization. And it, it, it's an amazing. <coughs> and we could spend hours talking about uh, all the great things they have done mm -hmm. for the Valley. But, yeah. but kudos to you guys, too, because you, you donate a lot of money every year. Uh, which, of course, comes from your customers, which and, is great. And yes. we want to thank everybody that yes. waited to get their brakes on just because they wanted to donate. They knew it was a special time of the year. And without them, we, we, we couldn't make those donations. Right. And it's so important that we, we continue to support such an organization because they help so many people that really need help badly at that point. And we try to work as closely with them as possible. And it's kind of a, kind of a bizarre thing last year. So the last year this year I can't remember, I needed brakes on, on one of our cars. And it's like, oh, I got to do brakes. But then I'm like, oh, but it's July. So it, <laughs> it, so it kind of took the pain out of it because then I knew yeah. that, that it was going yeah. for it. So, yeah. Yeah. so uh, thank you guys for doing that. Thank I you. Think it's, uh, it's really terrific. So let's go to winter. Um, and so what are the, the big things that we need to start doing as 
we had a lot of frost on the ground today. I looked yeah. for my scraper this morning. I went, where's my scraper? I know it's incredible, isn't it? Come fast. Yeah. Things, things that you, I mean, which is obviously very different from summer. And most important things is you, you've got to make sure your car is ready for the worst of weather. And some of you got sometimes extreme heat and things of that nature, but winter's a lot different. You've got snow, you've got sleet, you've got freezing rain, you've got ice. So there's some big things that you need to watch. You need to watch, make sure your snow tires are in great shape. Make sure that they're actually going to work for you and they're not worn down to the point where they're no better than your regular tires. Or worse. Or worse, yeah. Uh, we've seen worse. Um, you want to make sure your wiper blades are working properly. You want to make sure all your fluids are done properly. You want to make sure your coolant is ready for sub-zero weather. Oil change is a big important thing because in the winter, you're, when you start that uh, engine in the morning, that, that oil is ice cold. Not like the summer where it's already kind of warm. You've got to make sure that it's clean and ready to go. Um, you have to make sure you have plenty of windshield washer solvent. S windshield washer solvent that will uh, uh, dissolve ice on your windshield. So it's a, it's a de-icer. Um, you they don't have the summer one, which happened no, to me last which year, freeze. It froze up. Mm -hmm. yep. I, I was like, what is yep. going on? We have a lot of that come in early in the winter because people haven't gone through their summer right. washer and they're frozen, so they, my winter washer doesn't work. So we bring it in, we thaw it out, it's fine. We put some <laughs> you know, mix in there and you're yeah. all set. But there's a lot of different things you need to do. But you have to remember your car is not only the most important thing, you are an important thing in that car, especially when we get storms and things like that. We have a customer that has to drive to the White Mountain Hotel, Mount Washington Hotel. He has to be there. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He has to be prepared. So you also have to think about yourself if you get stuck. Right. What are you gonna do? You need to have some sand and salt in the back of your car. You need to have a small shovel to dig yourself out if you can. And it's very important if you get stuck and you can't get out, you need to run the heater. So you have to run your car. You gotta make sure your tailpipe's not clogged. If it is, you that exhaust backs up, that's not a good thing. Right. Uh, you want to make sure you have some food in the car, flashlights, you want to have extra clothing in the car, hand warmers, the little packets of hand warmers, you want to have those because if for some reason you can't get your car running and you're going to be cold and you're stuck, you don't want to freeze. You got to think of yourself too. You got to make sure that you're safe in all kinds of winter weather because you never know if you're going to get stuck or not. And you can, you know, all those supplies, those emergency supplies, you can pack up into a pretty small thing because I know yeah. someone's thinking, well, I don't have room for a comforter and a blanket. And it's like, well, you don't need all that, but you need to have that space. Take that space in your car. Yep. Um, tuck it off to like the a, side. Yeah, a duffel bag, you know, yep. or a kit of some Extra kind. washer solvent's yeah. really big because you run out and you're in the middle of some kind of storm or something. You can't see where you're going. That's just as bad. So you got to have extra in that trunk or the back of your, your, your wagon or whatever. There's just common sense things that you really need to have besides automotive needs. It's personal needs. Your safety is very important. And make sure that you have that with you. And, uh, but kind of going with that is that if your car is properly maintained, hopefully it's not going to break down. Right. You know, yes, if you get stuck in snow, that's nothing you can do. But it, maybe you won't get stuck if you have the proper tires. And if you have uh, questions, we're happy. You come, we'll give you a free inspection. We'll go through it, we'll, we'll make sure it's ready for winter, and if it's not, we'll tell you what you need. And it's your choice whether you want to do them or not, but at least we inform you of what needs to be done to your car. You have to be ready for winter. Winter is not going to wait for you to get ready. <laughs> it's just the way it is. And you never know when winter is going to hit. Too. Right, right, exactly. And one of the things, we've talked about this before, is the preventative maintenance or the regular maintenance, so that... Um, you know, going in for an oil change, they, you know, you guys don't just, boom, here's the oil, you're done. Right. While there's an oil change, you look it over and you can say, hey, look, you don't need new tires now, but you're going to need new tires in six months. Right. Or, right. And that's a great thing, especially because tires, for example, they're not cheap. No. So if I know that six months ahead that I'm going to have to get tires, I can kind of start planning for exactly. that. Exactly. And or that maybe there's a little problem, you know, that there's, there's so many things, brakes and everything else. But knowing about it ahead of time so that you don't, because I'm sure you get the people who come in and you're like, sorry, you need four brakes. They're like, why? I didn't know. Yeah. Well, you haven't brought it in for four years. Right. Well, whatever. you got a budget. We yeah. want, we, listen, it's not cheap to maintain your car sometimes. And you need to budget your money so you can afford to take care of your car, which is your lifeblood to get places. Right. So your work and home and shopping and things of that nature. You've got to... 
I feel bad when people come in totally unprepared and they're at a point where they can't wait and you've got to tell them you need this and it costs this much and you see the look on their face. It's, it's really, it, it, it's, it's a tough thing for us to do because we're trying to be honest, we want them to be safe, but it's really hard to tell them they gotta spend this kind of money when we know darn well they may not be able to afford it. Right. right. And then they just gotta decide, well, do I fix the car? Do I pay for the heat this, this month? I mean, it, it, it's, it can be difficult. It is tough. And the, but the preventative, because I'm sure there's things with brakes that if you had done something earlier, you can fix this without everything going. Sure. You know? Right. And Absolutely. prevention is huge. Prevention, as he was saying, that you know, all of a sudden you don't want to be surprised that you need a four-wheel brake job and that it's expensive. So prevention is definitely key. You bring it in, and we're not only doing the oil change, we're checking the tire pressures, we're, che we're checking the condition and, and, um, of the tires, we're checking your brakes, we're checking everything else visually that we can check. And if it's something that we tell you that you need to have, you know, whether it's 3,000 miles, 6,000 miles, then again, like you said, you can start planning. Right, right. And uh, so you're there, as you said, every day, except mm -hmm. for Sunday, because you're here. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so very easy to get appointments. It's not one of those things you call and it's like, yeah, we can take you three weeks from now. Exactly. I mean, people call us and generally we're booking for that week. So we are getting into tire season, which I tell people <laughs> to give us a call and we can book you an appointment. So it does get busier during right. tire season. Um, Saturday is our walk-in day. It's a first come, first serve. So that makes it a little bit easier for people that are working. Right. Um, you know, they just kind of, it's one of the last things they want to do on a Saturday on their day off. So they can come in. Um, she has pastry. I have breakfast, yes. <laughs> First come, yeah, first serve go. on Saturday, and I make it. I try to make it a little sweeter for she, them. She, so. she yeah. goes to, to to what's the place? I can't remember where you go. Old Village, Old Village Bakery, Bakery. Yeah. and she gets croissants. She gets these, and I look out there and I see the box out there, but I can't even go out to get any. <laughs> and it looks so darn good. <laughs> she locks the door on you, Ron. I do. You I think? I lock all the mechanics in there. Just yeah. do your work. Ron's just stuck up against the glass. <laughs> there, um, well, that's great. You know, it's 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 so nice to have um, you know a local business. And you know the people, and you know the cars, and yes. you know the situations, and, and everything else. So, and our uh, customers are awesome. They're just the nicest people, and we just we just are so blessed to have so many great loyal customers. It's it's really amazing. It's it's just it 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 really makes us feel good that we can we not they're not only customers. Many many of them are friends yes. that we never met before, um, and. We became close friends and very dear friends, and we have a, a couple that come from Washington State, and when they come out, they come to see us <laughs> because we helped them at one point. They come out and they they we got to go to dinner. We got to get together, and that's the kind of relationship we want. We're not we're not just a repair shop. We 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 try to help people and give them advice, and we are dog friendly, so everybody bring their puppy because we love puppies, and we just want to make it a different type of repair shop right. right and people know that they can you're here for the long haul yes. oh, yeah and they can trust you because i mean if you if you were not reputable then you're not going to be in business right no. so you've got to be reputable you've got to and and people know that about you and that's one of the things and you build that relationship yeah, and say hey i know i can go here and i'm not going to be oh you need this when you don't really need it we've all no. we all hear those we've stories. all we've all we been all to it and we we've had customers come in that have said you know different places said this and this and we say well not really and but you know we have a lot of great repair shops in this valley we're not the only one and you know if the the most important thing is you have to trust the people who are taking your car one of your most prized possessions and they're working on it and you have to trust them right if you don't trust them then there's a problem you know it's not just oh yeah he's just going to do this no find out bring Come, go out and see what needs to be done. It helps. We do that with everybody. And we're just part of a lot of good repair people in this valley that we're blessed to be part of. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Ron and Kelly, thank you so much thank you. for coming thank you. by. And uh, don't forget Midas right there in North Conway across from the Red Jacket Mountain View Motor Inn. And uh, stop in. Say hi. Get some pastries. Yeah, get some and, pastries uh, on Saturday. And uh, get ready for winter. Yes. yes. Be ready. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.